Welcome to Variations 4, the cardiovascular unit. We'll be covering um, question 12 and 14 in this unit, which is a basic introduction to um, ECGs. So first, uh, a little talk about electrical uh, conduction in the heart. If you look here on your maps, um, this map, what number is this? 14. Um, there's a little list here from your Lewis textbook about how, uh, where the elect electricity begins with the pacemaker node and how it flows through the different parts of the heart. I don't need you to know any more detail than this. Uh, the um, <clears throat> picture I'm about to show you is much more detailed. Uh, this is all you need to know. This picture is just to help conceptualize things for you. Um, <clears throat> you can see that the conduction starts on the... Uh, um, SA node, I might get myself in trouble by doing this because I got stuck here last time with the PowerPoint, but it starts in the SA node that your pacemaker moves through a pacemaker node, moves through the um, atria, mm -hmm. down the button, uh, then back to, down, sorry, down to the AV node through the bundle of hiss, the branches here and up through the ventricles. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, it's pretty intuitive how the electricity flows. It's the whole, um, if you think of how a heart contracts, how a heart is, uh, is moving here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, that's that. And then if we just kind of talk a little bit here about um, what it means in terms of uh, how electricity is charged and, and discharged in the heart, I think that's worth talking about before we look at an ECG. We'll just go back to the concept maps here. So it's helpful to understand that um, what happens in these tissues is that <clears throat> re, um, uh, repolarization, the cell has to charge up, uh, or sorry, the node has to discharge up, has to charge up before it discharges its electrical impulse. It's kind of like a battery charging up in a way. So you have this um, charging up and then you have this depolarization, which is essentially the release of the electrical energy. And that's the point, the depolarization is the point, or shortly thereafter, that we see the contraction of the heart muscle. And then it's, the heart muscle goes into kind of a resting state while these cells um, repolarize. Okay, and so it's just important to kind of think about that when we look at an ECG, which we'll do right now, and how to, how to read that. Um, just by the way, in terms of, this is from your textbook, so you'd have no problem finding this, but also um, what I'm about to say is also kind of written or scribbled down rather in your um, concept maps here as well. So let's just go through this. I find the picture here absolutely uh, much easier to follow. If you look at an ECG, The, the, what we're going to focus on here are the PQRST points and what those mean. So <clears throat> the P point is um, a depolarization of the atria. So this is the point at which the atria or very shortly after this point are contracting. There's a depolarization of, of energy, uh, electricity, and you can basically think of that's around the point where these um, atria are um, within milliseconds gonna contract because energy is released and the atria contract. And your QRS wave here is um, your ventricles contracting. It's not really a surprise. So they are, your ventricles are uh, depolarizing here. They're releasing their energy. Um, they are, and then they're contracting. Um, so it's not really a surprise here that they get the biggest wave here because look how big they are. Look how much electricity must be needed to make them move. Um, they're a much uh, a bigger part of the heart than the atria are. So what do you think is happening to the atria 
during this QRS period. This QR, QRS period is when the ventricles are depolarizing. It's around about the point when the ventricles are contracting. What do you think is happening to the atria at this point? Go find a video of a heart beating on YouTube, and it's very clear that when the ventricles are contracting, when they're in systole, the atria are in diastole. They're at rest. When uh, any part of the heart is in diastole, then when it's at rest, what do you think the cells are doing? The specialized cells are repolarizing. Let's summarize what we know so far. What's the P wave? The P wave is the atria depolarizing. It's the atria at the point when they are about to contract. It is the They are basically, uh, yeah, they're active. Then they go into that rest period and the ventricles go into systole. They are depolarizing. While that's happening, the atria at the same point are repolarizing. Now the, the ventricles get their own special little wave here at the end, this T wave is, is really, that's the point at which the um, ventricles are repolarizing. That's when they're in diastole, when they're at rest.